Night at the Museum, Battle of the Smithsonian, 2009, is a fantasy comedy film and the second installment in the Night at the Museum series. Directed by Sean Levy, it continues the story of Larry Daly, a night guard at the Museum of Natural History, who discovers that the exhibits come to life at night, thanks to a magical Egyptian artifact. In this sequel, the adventure expands beyond the confines of the New York Museum and into the vast, eclectic world of the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. The story begins, changes and new challenges. The film opens with Larry Daly, played by Ben Stiller, who has now left his night guard job and become a successful inventor and CEO of his own company. Despite his business success, Larry feels something is missing in his life. He decides to visit his old workplace, the Museum of Natural History, only to discover that many of his friends, the exhibits that come to life at night, are being moved to the Federal Archives at the Smithsonian Institution to make way for new, interactive exhibits. Among the exhibits being moved are Jitadada, Owen Wilson, The Cowboy, Octavius, Steve Coogan, the Roman general, and the magic Egyptian tablet that brings them to life. Teddy Roosevelt, Robin Williams, Rexy the dinosaur, and the Easter Island head remain at the museum. The call to adventure, a cry for help. Larry's life takes a turn when he receives a frantic phone call from Jedediah. The cowboy informs Larry that the exhibits at the Smithsonian, brought to life by the magical tablet, are in chaos. Determined to help his friends, Larry heads to Washington, D.C., the Smithsonian, a new world. Larry infiltrates the Smithsonian, which is much larger and more complex than his old museum. This sprawling complex includes the National Air and Space Museum, the Smithsonian Castle, and the National Gallery of Art, among others. As the tablet brings the Smithsonian exhibits to life, Larry encounters a host of new characters. Key new characters, Kamunra, Hank Azaria, the main antagonist, an ancient Egyptian pharaoh, and the older brother of Achmenra, the original owner of the magic tablet. He aims to use the tablet's power to conquer the world. Amelia Earhart, Amy Adams, a wax figure of the famous aviator who becomes Larry's ally and love interest. General Custer, Bill Hader, portrayed as somewhat bumbling. He initially leads the fight against Common Rock, El Capone, Ivan the Terrible, and Napoleon Bonaparte. Historical figures who ally with Common Rock in his quest for power. The conflict, battle for the tablet. Larry learns of Kamenra's plan to use the tablet to open a portal to the underworld and unleash an army of the dead to conquer the earth. Larry must prevent this while navigating the vast, chaotic world of the Smithsonian, filled with hostile exhibits and shifting alliances. A journey through history. The film takes viewers on a whirlwind tour through history and art. Larry and Amelia journey through different museum wings encountering famous figures and paintings, all of which come to life. They face challenges, including battling giant octopuses in the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and encountering famous figures like Albert Einstein and Abraham Lincoln. The Climax Showdown with Kamunra The climax of the film occurs at the Smithsonian Castle. Larry and his allies confront Kamunra and his historical villains. The battle is both comedic and action-packed, showcasing the various skills and quirks of the characters. Larry negotiates, fights, and uses his wit to outmaneuver Kamunra. Resolutions and goodbyes. Larry successfully defeats Kamunra with the help of Amelia, his museum friends, and even some of Kamunra's own allies, who switch sides. The portal to the underworld is closed, and the world is saved from destruction. The victory is bittersweet, as Amelia, being part of the Smithsonian, cannot leave with Larry. Their farewell is emotional, highlighting a theme of the film, the importance of letting go and moving forward. Returning to normal, a new day. As the sun rises, the magic fades, and the Smithsonian exhibits return to their inanimate states. 
Larry says his goodbyes and ensures that the tablet is returned to the Museum of Natural History to keep his friends there alive at night. The conclusion, Larry's growth. The film concludes with Larry realizing that his true passion lies in being a part of something magical and extraordinary. He decides to take a more hands-on approach with his company, ensuring that he can still be part of the museum world he loves. The movie ends with a new night event at the Museum of Natural History, where, thanks to the tablet, the exhibits entertain and educate the visitors, blurring the lines between fantasy and reality. Please like and subscribe our channel to watch and enjoy superb TV shows and movie recap videos. One more thing, don't forget to share this video with your friends. See you soon in the next video. The name is Abraham Lincoln, and you, sir, are in a heap of trouble. Do go back into the underworld. Thank you for coming tonight. No, no! Well. Tell me who the boss is and I'll give it to you. Or should I give it to Kamen Ra? He's sort of like your master, right? <laughs>